Hey guys, in my last video, I started forging a sax from a file. And I was getting ready to quench it, and then I realized that my quench tank was a little bit too small. So I went ahead and ordered a two-foot vertical quench tank. The bottom of the box had been dropped by the carrier, so I wanted to make sure everything looked good. I really like this one because it's got the lid, so you don't get any debris when you're not using it inside the quench tank. It has these handles made out of rebar, so it's easy to carry. The bottom looks good. All the welds look really good. So now I'm going to put some water in it, just make sure there's no leaks. Doesn't look like there's anything. I'm going to mix it around and then leave it for about 10 minutes. And after doing that, there was no water coming out at all, so I dumped it out. And then I bought two gallons of canola oil. And after I poured my first one, I could see that I wasn't going to have enough. This quench tank ended up using three gallons. While I'm doing the thermal cycles, I want to go over why I went with a vertical instead of a horizontal quench tank. So the horizontal quench tank, if you have a knife that's about two feet long and your quench tank's only two feet, you're not going to be able to quench it because you have to quench the tang and the blade. And with a vertical, you just have to quench the blade so you can get a lot longer knife quenched. And I, I was going to go with a three foot. They were sold out everywhere. So I ended up going to two foot and I'll be getting a three foot later. Normally I preheat the oil with a burner, but this is a lot bigger quench tank and there's a lot more oil to heat. So I used a railroad spike knife and just swirled around the oil. I'm just trying to get a good even heat all throughout the oil. Once I did this, the temperatures was 166 degrees. And this is perfect because when I actually go to heat treat my knife, the oil will have cooled down to the right temperature. my next video, I'll be finishing up the sacks, putting a handle on, and testing it out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.